Good, so do take time to really settle. Welcome yourself into whatever space you're sitting in. And as you close your eyes, becoming aware of the sensations in your body. Initially, just getting a sense of the body sitting, the shape of the body, the way you've positioned your limbs. Noticing if anything feels a little bit tight or any of the limbs are trapped or pressing on each other. And asking the body if it wants to adjust itself. Maybe have a stretch through the spine. Rolling the shoulders a little bit can help release tension in that area. And just seeing that your weight is evenly distributed, perhaps between the buttocks or between the thighs. If you're sitting on a chair, noticing the feeling of the feet on the ground. And just checking if those feet are well positioned. It can be helpful to have them slightly out from the knees. So that the weight of the knees is not pressing too hard into the ankle. And getting a sense of the space around you, allowing the body to relax outward into that space. You don't need to hold it tightly in a contracted way. But you can just allow it to expand out, really taking your place in the space around you and in the space we share together. I'd like us to start the meditation by just bringing to mind some quality or intention or even kind word or deed that we may have done, that we may appreciate about ourselves. Recollecting that quality or that kind act or kind word that you shared with another person. Bringing it to mind and getting a felt sense of how it feels. How do you feel when you're connected to a quality in your heart that you really appreciate and respect?
So now just gently bringing your mind into your body. We're going to spread loving awareness through every part of the body. As though putting ink in a glass of water. As this loving awareness spreads through the body, it suffuses every part of the body. Just as ink put in a glass of water slowly turns the water, the colour of that ink, leaving no part untouched or unaffected by your loving awareness. If you notice any parts of the body which are maybe aching or sore, perhaps any tension or tightness, perhaps just linger a little bit longer in that area, as though bathing that area with loving kindness, giving it a mental massage. Allowing it just to loosen and settle. Leaving no part untouched. Noticing the delight in a relaxed body. Connecting to any sensations which are pleasant, maybe tingling sensations, warmth in the body, or any amount of relaxation that you can connect to. Staying connected with that, we're going to gently extend wishes of loving kindness towards ourselves. Traditionally, we use simple phrases that capture 
sort of universal wish for happiness and well-being, such as may I be happy, may I be safe, may I be well. May I be peaceful. Many of you may have been working with the phrases already and have settled on something that's very meaningful and resonant for you. So just checking in with your heart right now and seeing what feels most resonant, something that really captures your deepest wishes for yourself, for your own well-being. And gently repeating these phrases to yourself with great love and tenderness and listening to the space between each phrase to where that intention of loving kindness is pointing to as though the phrase were a seed and in that space between the seeds you shine this light and warmth of the sun, the light of mindfulness and the warmth of loving kindness. Giving the seeds all the time they need to grow and to sprout into the flower of loving kindness. So just repeating the phrases gently, clearly, rhythmically, again and again, and giving metta a chance to start to grow in the heart. Some people find it helpful to place their hand across their heart to increase the sense of intimacy, care and connection. Others may choose to keep their attention in the heart area or any part of the body which feels relatively comfortable and at ease. Perhaps even the whole body. Allowing that metta to suffuse your whole being. Every cell of the body, every thought and emotion in the mind.
And if the mind wanders away or starts to dwell in other thoughts, just gently notice that. And again, bring forward a thought of loving kindness. How does it feel to connect to that wish of well-being for yourself? To connect to your own wish for happiness and freedom from suffering. So now staying connected to the feelings in your own body, particularly any feelings, emotions connected with loving kindness. We're going to just gently bring to mind all the people sitting here with us in this virtual meditation hall. Many of whom are now known to you many who have just joined for the day. Bringing them into the field of loving kindness, recognizing that just as we wish for our own happiness, all beings wish for their happiness and well-being. So allowing those feelings, thoughts, emotions of loving kindness to flow out from your body to all the people practicing together here. Maybe just getting a felt sense of their presence or maybe an image of the faces. People from all over the world. May we all be happy. May we all be safe. May we be well. May we be at peace. You might imagine this loving kindness flowing like a golden light, suffusing everyone sitting here together in this beautiful light of loving kindness, bringing a smile to their lips, ease to their body, and soothing their heart.
And now we're going to imagine our combined loving kindness growing so large, so powerful, that it can't remain among our group. It starts spreading out into your immediate environment, to the people you may be living with, or the people on your street, in your city, across the country, and over the seas. Spreading loving kindness to all beings. You may find your loving kindness spreading to people you know overseas, places you've visited, places you've read about in the news, allowing it to spread wherever it's most needed. all beings far or near, human or non-human, <clears throat> to the birds in the sky, to the animals, the insects, to the creatures of the sea. visible or invisible, to the beings who are healthy, <coughs> who are enjoying comfort, who have enough food and a place to stay. and to the beings who are struggling, maybe with poverty, or in abusive relationships, or to the homeless people living in the street, or in the slums in India, or in America. all those who are affected by this pandemic, may they receive <clears throat> our loving kindness. And for a moment, may their sickness be relieved. Imagining this golden light of loving kindness entering into the hospitals, to the IC units, where people may be struggling on a ventilator or recovering, looking forward to go out meeting their loved ones again. May 
all beings know the power of loving kindness. May they be happy, safe, well, and may they know deep, unshakable peace. Imagining this planet Earth lit up with this golden light of loving kindness. Healing the forests. Healing Mother Earth herself. Now we're going to gently draw in that golden light back into our homes and into our hearts to the source of that loving kindness. To this being sitting here who you know so well With all your perceived weaknesses, your struggles, challenges, fears, insecurities, and all your noble intentions, your kindness, generosity, courage, and wish to be free. And once again, bathing yourself in loving kindness. Without judgment, without measuring, with empathy and with care. Sensing your whole body and the feeling in your heart right now. <coughs> so we'll end the meditation. I'll give a little blessing chant. Just allowing the words, the chanting to soak through. Sabe Sata Sabe Pana Sabe Buddha Sabe Pugala 
Sapeata bawa paria pana Sabae tio Sabe puisa Sabae aria Sabe anaria Sabe Deva Sabe Manusa Sabe Vini Padika Aweva Hontu Abhyapaja Hontu Aniga hontu Sukiat nam pariharantu Dukam hunjantu Yadalada sampatito Maui kachantu Kamasakam